Howdy. So this is a forum question. How do I enable layered navigation in Magento? And this question came from Michael. And the question was, hi, Matthew. That is exactly what I would like to do. I am just unsure of the steps. In the example, women, fashion, electronics, digital are all top level subcategories and creating the tree and assigning products to them is straightforward, I hope. Which it is. You just assign them to your products and they'll appear in the categories. But that's not the main question, is it, Dave? It's the no. piece and bolt. Yeah. Mike then continues and says, the left panel containing the attributes for price, manufacturer, color and size. I understand how to create and populate the attributes from the guides, but not how to get them to display in the left panel within Magento. And that's the question which we're going to be tackling in this video. He then says, I guess I'm at the stage where I need to install Ultimo so I can try out setting this up and see what happens. Thanks, Mike. So, Mike, what we're going to do now is jump over to our Magento system and show you how we would do this. Yay. Right, Dave. So we've been a jump to across to our website and it looks fantastically boring. <laughs> at the moment <laughs> at the moment so it's just the it's a straight vanilla install of the ultimo theme from themeforest.net and you'll see that we've come into the women's things category and we're also in the women's boots category as well and we've got two products we've got some boots highly original name <laughs> and we've got some uh, a slightly better title some slim fit knee bit high boots as well and right now, the place where we're focusing upon is on this left hand bar. So you can see that at the moment we've got shop by, we've got custom block and we've got a couple of other blocks or static blocks here on the left hand side. And what we're after for Mike is to enable the layered navigation in Magento. So that at least one or more attributes appear on the left hand side. And the thing is, uh, Dave, that this is really easy to do. So if <laughs> which is happy days. So if we jump across to Magento and I'm going to grab the Sun Boots product here and I'm going to go into the left hand side where we've got eBay IS for that's for our eBay item specifics and we've got a group there called Boots and so we're going to go and pick on upper material. So we can see that this product is set to file leather like so and on my other tab here is that we've got a very similar product to the other products which we saw a few moments ago. And the upper material, we've been and set that to wall, which is highly, highly incorrect, but it will, <laughs> it will make it appear in the left-hand side accordingly. Okay, so what we need to do is really easy. We need to tell Magento that we want the, the upper material attribute to appear as a lead uh, navigation attribute. And it's dead simple. It's literally just a drop down box. So on one of the other tabs, what we've been and done is that we've gone to catalog attributes and then manage attributes. And we've done a search for upper, for our upper material. And again, Dave, we're using the eBay attribute here. And this is why we, we, we set them up so that if you're using item specifics for eBay is that you can also use them for your website as well. And the example in this case is going to be upper material. So we're going to click through onto that attribute. And then if I just scroll down my screen a touch is that it's this option here, use in layered navigation. And if you change that to filterable with results like so, and then press save attribute at the top. Now, there is a quick note here is that that may have just thrown your indexes out for the site and you may need to re-index and I'll quickly show you how to do that as well, which is literally just go to system, index management, and then click on select all on the left and then click on submit on the right and now that will take a few moments to go through we don't have very many products in our example site so it went through within about two seconds or so uh, so if you do see a warning notice about your indexes being out of date that's what you need to do and you, you need to pick on the index ideally just the one index which needs updating so if we now go back to our magento website and i'm just going to hit right click and hit reload to refresh the page and you'll see that you've got foul leather as a count of one and you've got wall as a count of one with the label called upper material. And of course, 
as you as a customer, then if you click on there, then you've now only got one result. And if we take that away again, and then go and click on say wall, then we've only got the one result there. And this functionality is literally built into Magento and out of the box. And it will use whatever values you've got on your products and in the attributes and whatever you've been assigned to, the, to them as well. So Mike, I hope that's been and helped you. Dead straightforward. And it's really just a case of just rinse and repeat for whichever attributes you would like to use in the left-hand navigation. And I think, Dave, just a couple of tips from ourselves, which would be try and limit the number of attributes which you're going to use this for. Uh, the, the reason for that is that if, you, uh, if you've just got three or four, then that's kind of user-friendly. It's going to help the customer. But if you've got 30 down the left-hand side, is that you're going to end up with a very, very long page and it's not going to be very helpful for customers either. Oh, and another quick note is that Magento will work out which attributes to show within each category as well. So if I go to uh, just click on women's things at the top, you'll see that they're not there on the left hand side. And if, if I go into the, the bags category, they're also not there. But if I go into women's things and then boots, then they do appear because the products which are in that category have got those attributes being set to them and they, uh, Magento just works it out automatically for you and it will just populate in the left hand bar automatically. So Mike, we hope that's been and helped you. Catch you soon. Bye. So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful and myself, Matt and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.